Hey gamers, it's me, Coke, ignore the bowl of ice cream back there, uh, so we're playing Inscription today, Casey's mod, mod, uh, the last couple of days I've been going in hard on this, I like the game, um, but it's also kind of bullshit sometimes, so, Let's play. Get the game up. Um, that's the wrong button. Screen capture inscription. There we go. So Casey's mod is an infinite uh, version of the um, of Act One of Inscription. Which, you know, I, I liked Act 2 the best, I think, but uh, you also, as the level rises, you um have to increase the amount of, like, challenges. So, like, you don't start with the fish hook, uh, backpack can only hold uh, two items, trapper's pelt costs more, you can't reroll card choices, and boss battles are also totem battles. I'm selecting this one because it's not that hard. When I was doing, like, three of the other ones, it was really holding me back. If you haven't seen an inscription before, it is a roguelite deck builder uh, with creepy atmosphere. Whoa. Uh, let's get the corpse maggots and the opossum. Corpse maggots are good, especially going to a sigil right after, or, like, sigil sacrifice. Because that means we can put it on this wolf, and whenever a creature dies, our wolf will get put out for free. If it's in our hand. Plus it slims out our deck. In roguelikes, you wanna you wanna keep your deck as thin as possible, typically. Because it makes for a more consistent deck. Uh, 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 your goal in each, like, round is to, uh, have five more points than your opponent. Uh, you get points by attacking, oh, that was a silly placement, um, by attacking blank squares. So here I'm going to be getting four points. One from the stoat, three from the wolf. None from the opossum because there's a stump blocking it. So we're only two away from victory right now. Uh, four away from victory. I'm actually going to sacrifice the opossum just to have something a little more useful on the battlefield. And we are out of regular cards, so we just have squirrels. We didn't have to play that squirrel, but whatever. So we won. Um, let's go here. And depending on what we get here, we'll either go to the fireplace or another sigil sacrifice. So this is essentially a random card. Um, like every time you play it, it's random. I'm not into that right now. Hmm. Let's get the skink. And let's go with the fire. We can at least see what's up here. Ooh, an attack fire. So the fire here is that you can increase the attack or health stat, depending on what type of fire it is, of one uh, one of your creatures for free once, and then you can press your luck. I don't know what the percentage chance is, um, but there's a chance that uh, you'll lose the creature. I'm going to press my luck. Hey, 3-2 stout. Wolf stout.
if you fail the the people around the campfire eat, eat your animal or like in in flavor they eat your animal three should put it over there just so I could easily win next time. Oh, the, they they dive. Um, so these these squares here, they don't count as having a creature on them. The creature is like dive dove, even <laughs> below the surface. That won't do it. Yeah. Two. This will do it, though. Pink. A possum because we have enough bones from sacrificing creatures. And good. So if you go over an amount, or if you go over the five, you get, um, you get gold teeth that you can spend at, at a trader's. Um... Let's go here. We might go to a fire again, we'll see. Adder. I could put the adder, like the the death touch on the opossum. It's much cheaper than the two blood. So essentially we're gonna be making a much cheaper adder. So instead of having to sacrifice two blood worth of animals, we only have to get two bones. Which are a lot easier to come by, because you get them whenever a creature on your side dies. So are responding to the evergreens. Okay. I mean, I don't even have to do this, but I want the extra teeth, just in case. Uh, so the, the miner here, you choose one of these, and if you either get a golden pelt, which you can later trade for a rare creature, or you get just a regular creature. So we've gotten just a regular creature, the cockroach with, uh, like, guard dog and undying. That's a shitty card, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna go to the fire and hope it gets eaten. If it doesn't get eaten, then it's a lot better. Yep. Easy come, easy go. go to another fire. I probably won't press my luck on this one. Ooh. Um. Ink. And we're gonna pull back. Okay, so it's a totem battle, which means that birds that he has, after they after they attack, they'll move to the right. Uh, or if they're on the other side of the board, they'll move to the left. Uh, we're fighting a boss here, the angler. Because we came to the boss with two flames, uh, we get the smoke, which is an extra thing that you can... Uh, 
sacrifice. Um, let's play the stoat and the skink for a quick one turn victory for the first phase. Maybe a possum here. Hmm. And actually, I'm going to sacrifice both of these and play this because he can't attack with those. So that means next turn we win. Is it sad if that's some of the best play I've ever done? <laughs> or best strategizing? Alright, rare cards. The amoeba is interesting. Um, the question mark symbol becomes a random sigil. Take the amoeba. It fits it fits well with our deck. Okay, next we're going to fight the miner at the end of this. Sparrow, ringworm, bullfrog. Oh, bullshit, am I right? Ooh, mantis. Love a mantis. Anything I can get rid of easily? So it's really good. Maybe get rid of the bullfrog, to be honest. So this is the Bone Lord. You can get rid of a card from your deck and uh, in exchange you get a... It's a card but it's not a card that you play. You automatically start the battle with one bone already available. Which means that we can get a possum out really quickly if we need. Or an amoeba. Uh... Okay, so a couple of flying creatures. I want the amoeba or the... You know, I should have played the possum there. And eh, whatever. <laughs> Back down to zero. Okay. Hmm. I want to play the wolf here because I need to make up the difference here. Because these things are going to come in and do two damage, and if I had let them do that, I would have lost before. Ooh, Mantis. So the Mantis has a bifurcated strike, so instead of attacking straight ahead, it attacks to the left and right of straight ahead. Um, the Amiibo is kind of useless right now. This will kill the Mantis, but that's fine. Uh, sack the skink for a stoat. Yeah, we've got this from here. Because we're doing six damage right now. Three, three. Hey, we end with a uh, three gold extra. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to buy anything from the trapper, but I do want to get to that fire. Yeah. 
I haven't used any of my items yet either. I'll just take the rabbit pelt. And I'll trade that later, I'll get rid of it or something. Okay, what can I give more health to? The mantis. For sure. Uh, yeah, I'll pull, I'll pull away, that's fine. A 1-3 mantis is pretty damn good. Okay, the mycologists are up there. I don't have anything the same. I think I'm just gonna keep on trucking here. I also should maybe use one of these in, in this battle. Okay. Twirl. Mantis. Yeah. Opossum. Is it there? Because this thing uh, pops up whenever you're about to em uh, hit an empty space. And that should, like, kill it relatively quickly. I'm also going to put the pelt down just to absorb an attack. We should win this round. Wolf kills Mantis. Ink kills Wolf. Women inherits the earth. There we go. Alright, blood. Um, kind of like what we got. Let's do a bone one. A rattler. Okay. It seems it, it's kind of really expensive for nothing. I mean, it's a 3-1. Ah, fuck. Back rat. I mean, it's a good card in theory. It's really good if you can get the sigil onto something else. Because what a pack rat does is it gives you a free item. Oh, I didn't use any of my items. Okay, squirrel, mantis, uh, amoeba? Nah, possum. Three damage. They'll come back and do one damage. They'll attack the fur. Kill that. One, one. We'll attack that. Rattler. A. Yeah, let's go to the... Let's get a sigil here. Four bones. A second Rattler. Okay, now we're kind of cooking with gas here, because we can combine them at the Mycologist and get a 6-2 Rattler. Hmm. What if we put Pack Rat on the Amoeba? A very cheap Pack Rat, essentially, with one less attack. Sounds like a good deal to me. So with these guys, if you have two of the same card, you can combine them, and it combines their stats. So this guy will be a 6-2, so 3-3-1. Three, three, and, and if they have, um, if they have sigils, you get both of the card sigils in one card. Don't cost six bones, but that's a lot better. Okay. Wolves throw things out of their way as they move. That's not bad. 
Actually, we got a killer, killer move here. Hang on. Dode. Oh, fuck. Attack squirrel for its stoat. Or two, yeah. Take the squirrel. Gink. For five. Yep. There's gold in them cards, so he's going to turn all these into gold nuggets. Which essentially just takes up space until somebody attacks it. But, ooh, pack of amoeba. Actually, we have enough for both, if we had the room. Oh, wait, fuck. Oh, I fucked it up. It's fine, it's fine. We'll just wait an extra turn. Rattler. Uh, we don't win this turn, we win next turn. Because you can't sacrifice something to summon a bone, a bone creature. It essentially has to have already been sacrificed. So two balls is down. Double amoeba. Yak is also really tempting because it's it's free. What cards do I have? I give Gak. I mean, I guess bifurcation. I'm gonna take the amoeba. I'm gonna go double amoeba, I think. And then hopefully combine it with my colleges. Yeah. Oh, we can sell our pelt here. Pelts, maybe? Just one. Ooh. Take the magpie. The magpie is really good. Parentheses, if you give it sigil to someone else. I can I um No. No. Extra health for someone how about Uh not press my luck on the rattler. A six four rattler is far better than a six two rattler. Bone Lord Spoon. This will be fine. Hello, Seal King. How are you? Um, how far am I away from death? Not that far. Um, use the hook. Then I can sack both of these for the magpie. Summon a wolf. There we go. Then we'll put out the rattler. Uh, don't have enough for an opossum, but that's fine. Uh, 
This should do it. Yep. Easy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I want to put the magpie sigil on something else. Um. One blood. Ringworm. Oh, great. And I love more than ringworm. Have you already played this game or not yet? Yes. I uh, I played this at the end of 2021. Um, it's my first-ish time going through Casey's mod. I, I beat the first level, but the second level, for whatever reason, has just kicked my ass repeatedly. Don't really know why. It's kind of harder, because, I mean, the game isn't really helping you. They got elk fawn. Uh, let's put a stoat out there. Yeah, this will do it in two turns, I think. Because it will move over. And yeah, we win. Get it. In general, I really love this game, especially when we're out in fleshy. Yeah, it's a great game, except for, like, the few times where it's bullshit. You know, just every once in a while, the game does something where it's, like, just absolute horse hockey. Go here. I want to go to the mycologist, I think. And I want to get rid of w ringworm if possible. If they don't take a ringworm, a 2 1 for 1 is great. That's also pretty good. Much better card. Mm. Ooh, turkey vulture. Ugh. If I had two of these pliers, it would be worth pulling out my teeth for just to, to finish this battle. But as is, that just sucks. Turkey vulture. I also made a Gek cult with another streamer. Gek is good. Oh, okay. Hang on. Yeah, we can afford this. Take both those. Hit that. Raven hits for two, but that's fine. Ooh, flying uh, magpie amoeba. What do I want? No, yeah, still will do it. Why do I get a... Why do I get a special rabbit? Oh, it must have had a sigil. Oh, it gives you a rabbit and it's in your hand. Okay. Weird. It gets the same... Okay. Uh... I mean, I guess I'll take the rattler. Do that... That's fine. It cool. Uh, only bones in my hand right now, so I'll just have to deal with, you know, only winning by two. Gek is simply Gek, a free great Gek hero that will save you from any monster. It's true. I have to agree with that. Ooh, mycologist and a sigil. Black 
goat. Ooh. Oh, the bones. Mm. Oh, but we could do it the opposite way. Where we can put um put undying on the uh on the goat instead of uh free blood on the cockroach. Okay, double amoeba. Nice. As soon as you have the opportunity to take the Gek, you will take it. Yes, I will take the Gek. Okay, so goat. Cockroach. Okay. Ooh, that is going to be rough for the trapper. Okay. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. Okay, I can sack the smoke for the stoat, and then that will kill the um, the squirrel, which will put the wolf out onto the field. And then I can use flying, and, and it's over. Well, the first round is over, at least, but the second round of the trapper is fucking easy. They're they have the sigil of fucking stop flying. They have reach. That sucks. Um should want. Let's hope I can draw a rattler or something. This isn't going to be pleasant. I think I lost. Ooh, I won. Black goat. Uh, wolf pelt. Rattler? Amoeba? An ant amoeba? My great ant amoeba? keep the leaping trap there because I don't want the fucking wolf to come knock at my door. I don't want to sack the skink. I, I might use my squirrel and hit this with a worker ant and then put the, the rattler in next round. Okay, that should do it. Maybe? Okay. Alright. We got two. Uh, obviously I'm taking the raven, I'm taking the adder, just because... I mean, I 
hit for eight. <laughs> Ooh, I don't hit for eight. It's gonna hurt. Okay. Okay, squirrel into black goat. into raven I should have put the adder there whatever Oh, this will do it because the mantis will hit the grizzly first. And then the rattler sneaks in. By one. Perfect. We win. Fucking nail biter for no reason. Should have paid attention to the sigils. Yeah. All right, final one. What do I have in my deck? I think I can put the Mantis on Gek. Gek on top. Mantis on the bottom. Okay, we got bisexual Gek. So I usually choke when I get to Leshy. If I haven't choked already. But we have smoke, which is always nice. Rattler opening hand, perhaps? Amoeba? That's pretty good. Oh, no, wait, wait, easy, easy win. Oh, but Mole Man. Nobody's gay for Mole Man. Smoke, snack that. That won't quite do it, obviously. Okay, so the miner, I would really love to win uh, this round, this round. Let's get our, our Rattler engine going. There we go. What's next? An insect forest bed and gave rise to shadowy figures scattering through the blah. blah. Right, we got Reginald. I guess a hex reference. Uh, I only played hex recently. Damn. Uh, that is death touch. That's annoying. Using my teeth won't even get me quite there. So we'll we'll make peace with losing the stoat. Oh, he was still the miner. That's fun. 
Well, at least we got the spaces now. Second squirrel, same as the furl. There we go. And moon? Yeah. This ought to work again. I have something with death touch in my deck. I know I do. Okay, I forgot Gek only has one. Ah, Death Touch. Oh, Death Touch doesn't work on it? Ah, uh, they... they... Go right through my evil plan. I might be fucked. I think I'm fucked, actually. I mean, I can rip out my teeth, but, like, there's only so much I can do. I'm just out of cards. You know, fucking play squirrels until the cows come home, I suppose. I refuse to just scoop. Because the game fucking punishes you for just exiting. I was so close. Idle lock. At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing the city will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. Oh. So many bones over there. All right, well, this is my last sack. Oh, it gives the moon an extra. I didn't know that. Ding. Yeah. All right. There are some times where I'm like, the game is bullshit, but that, I don't know, that was kind of a combination of bad play and dumb luck. Run it back, I suppose. What do we got? Right, let's go Black Goat Grizzly Bear. Uh, stoat, bullfrog. I'd want to save the the goat for like if we hit a uh, if we find like a cat. Cat with three blood is just great. It's like not quite broken, but like really good. Also, grizzly bear. Boom. Well, stout. Just that. Oh. 
Can I refuse? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, that, that sucks, to be honest. I don't know, Grizzly. <laughs> Grizzly with three blood seems kind of pointless. Or, why would I do that? Okay, the game says no. I don't know, I guess if I get the wolf out, I can sack it for a Grizzly. I would rather have both. Bad luck. Uh, uh, use the squirrel. Three. One. And. can build an ant deck. Oh, hey. We can check out the uh, totem down there, too. Skink. One, he does one. I pick a squirrel, I do this, I do this. I do three, do the grizzly. And one extra? Yeah. Fantastic. I kind of see, want to see what we can do with Ringworm. Ooh, bugs or bones. That's pretty cool. Ants, an uh, like elder ants is also really cool. Yeah, let's do this. Maybe this one will be an attack one? Get a better ringworm? Hey! I almost want to sack the wolf, but... Uh... You know, it's a 1-1 it's a one -one now. I'm gonna... I'm cool with that. So now it can be a, what, 2-2? Two, 2-3? Two, 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 I forget what the stats for, for Elder are. All right, angler. Do that. And then I'll get another squirrel out for next time. Actually, I'll put out, I'll put out the pelt as well, just so that it grabs the pelt. Yoink. Thanks for making your own deck worse. One, two, three. Hey, okay, how goes the scripting? Pretty good. How are you, West River? That 
actually won't kill the Grizzly. That's pretty cool, actually. Because that's only four. It hits, and then I get it next time. Oh, I can't even do that, so I just... I just do five damage here and win. <laughs> Yeah, inscription's going okay. Um, made it all the way to the final boss in this one, uh, or in the last one rather, but then died because I just, I just straight up ran out of cards. Um, we could get our Rob or Ross. They couldn't even choose a name for me. All right. I think, hmm. Poku is interesting. Uh, I want to try and, for another insect. Oh, a second ant queen. So here. Just woke up from a nap, so we're sleepy. That's valid. Okay, what if Ringworm could summon an ant? Friend in the chat. Um. Hmm. Uh, let's use the hook. I figure using an item is fine because uh, the smoke is so valuable. Later on. I'm also going to power up Ouroboros. Wait. That was exceedingly silly. It's fine. I'll sack it next turn with a squirrel. And bring out the grizzly. Um, and This this will be fine. Does four damage. Squirrel. The ant queen or Ouroboros. What I think I want is to rip out one of my teeth. Ready to put it down a pelt? I misclicked. That sucks. That that really sucks. Um 
I'm actually kind of mad. Hey, that's pretty cool, though. But we do lose anyway. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Ugh, can't believe I fucking misclicked. Ooh. Sell that golden pelt, though. Mmm. Uraioli. What is the amalgam again? It's just everything. So that's good with my, um, with my, uh, totem. Rip and piss, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate you ripping my piss. What can we put down here? Oh, just Ant Queen. Is it silly that I want to put Ouroboros in here? Just because I kind of want to go all in on the Ant Queen. I guess this is a flat 3-3 three, three rather than what would probably be like a 2-3 at max. So it's something. Everything I do is silly. Thank you. That's going to be a toughie. We're all there. both of those because I want to get rid of both of those guys. Worker Ant is good. Three damage, don't kill me! Okay. Okay, thank god. Oh, it becomes an Ant Queen. That's fun. A fun time. And there we go. Da -da. One hits for one. And let's just like... Rub it in. Not watching closely, just have you in the background while I level up past you in Fortnite. Oh no! You are better at Fortnite than me. I will say, though, you're probably not better at Fortnite than Susan. Another Ant Queen. I'll take it. Mycologist up there, too. I would agree. Fair. What could I... I'm pretty shitty so far tonight. I think I need to change characters. Yeah, that usually does it. Um, I'm not going to push my luck on this note. I'm happy having it be a 2-2. Is the Ant Queen even worth, uh, hitting up the mycologist for? Or 1-1. One, one. Uh, put you here. Worker Ant. Boop. Hit the wolf cub before it can do any damage. Porcupine's gonna hit for one, and the raven is gonna attack us for two. Um. That. Ooh. 
Hits for one. Squirrel. I'll work her ant just in case. There we go. I'm generally trying to think like, oh, I only have one ant queen now. Oh, that's right. I slapped the other one on the amalgam. Or ringworm, I forget which. Not the Mr. B skins in the store now. <laughs> Horrifying, to be honest. Wolf. I could do a wolf. And then I can hit up the mycologist. And he's going to be like, do you have victims? Six four wolf. Am I really gonna spend my twelve hundred V bucks on some extremely good wings glider? How good are are they? Excuse me. Controversial opinion? I'm sacking the grizzly. It doesn't fit in my deck. Every time I go for the Grizzly, it just does not work. You know what's working? The Amalgam. Alright, we've got the Trapper. Pretty easy totem. Reptiles move to the right. Ooh. Do that. Hit for two. And then do this. Uh, yeah, that's that's fine. Take two damage. Let's get another ant in here. Maybe even an uncle, if we're lucky. One damage. can hold out No, we can hold out one more turn. I think the play is to basically sack everything. Cuz now they can't hit us. Wolf gets eaten in the trap. That's Annoying, but fine. That's just a regular ass frog. I'm happy with this. It's one elder amalgam worker ant back there. That's fine. Hi, Strawberry System, how are you? DMing you a pick of the wings, let me see. Oh, those wings are incredibly cool, but you gotta get them. Those are so you. All right, we got several pelts. Do 
that. 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 Yeah. It's all my V-Bucks own. They turn into gold over time, and you know I'm allergic to that. That is true. It's true. Alright. Hit for nine. Eight round. Whatever. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know if you think you're going to like them. Uh, let's get pack rat. Pack rat, pack rat. Let's go here. Black goat. Let's reroll. Uh, I can take an opossum. Claudia would be happy with that. Hmm. I think squirrel is the most useful. We don't have that many bone things, so maybe a boulder. Flying shore. I mean, let's just win. <laughs> okay. I know it was maybe a waste of the squirrel item, but we have the pack rat. I don't want any of this shit. I want that. That's too expensive. What do I how much do I have? Ten. Uh I'm just taking the one. I ate, but I will soon leave again, but not for long. That's valid. I want to get rid of the pack rat. Oh no, not that. Uh, put the pack rat on the opossum. I think that's a good fit. Got to come across this. The plural tag. Ah. Oh. I knew that tagging our stream plural would do something. Oh, hey. It landed on its head. It's funny. Okay. That. That. Why booing? <laughs> uh, that's fine. I'll hit for one. Ringworm. Here, worker ant. That's annoying. I do think I just lost. Oh, I didn't somehow. Uh, I mean, wow, what is what is this battle? Not even the boss fights are this tough. We're going, but we fight for the Jews. Hey, perfect time, you know? It's, it's Passover. Hmm. What do we got? I do want to sell the rabbit pelt. I think getting rid of a card is also good. Let's sell the pelt and see what we can get. Because we might be able to get like a maggot corpse in here. Or corpse maggot rather. Hey! Ask and ye shall receive. Uh, yeah, put, put Ant 
clean out there if something dies. Dipper Pines is a Jewish icon. I can see that. I used to uh, to cosplay Dipper Pines back in the day, which feels very funny to admit nowadays. Okay. I actually want this to die because it will bring out the Ant Queen. Get one there. There. This, so that'll hit for three now. Oh, no, 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 I can't do that. Oh. I was going to say I can just hit it for six and end this, but I can't because of the mole. Who is the mole? He also, he also calls his sister's name in a worrying tone at least once per episode. That's just what being an older brother is like, to be honest. There we go. Fire for totems. We're, we're kind of good on totems. I like our, our elder bug thing. Reroll. Give me another bug. Ooh, another corpse maggot. That's good. Uh, we're... Ah. Uh, crap. They're technically... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot that, uh... Yeah, they're twins, obviously. I don't know why, uh... I said older brother, but... Being a brother in general. What do I want? You know what? Ooh. Oh no, don't, don't eat the pack, rat. Well, it's a 2-6 for 2 now. Whatever. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so we've got the amalgam off bat, which is good. Ooh, a wolf? That's different. Normally he puts out the coyote. Hmm. Your cards are gold, did you know? He'll show you. I've heard about this. I've whole heard that there was gold in them that were cards. What do I want? Can't cut that, it's too thick. Bullshit. Fine. Xenoblade 2 is good plural rep. I haven't heard that. kill my amalgam. It wouldn't kill my wolf. What's the score? That's fine, because I still have the amalgam after this. So we find out that there's gold in them there cards.
the wolf stay? Oh, oh, that's that's tough. Ah, hey, okay. accidentally did something good there. for two. Oh, it had it had death touch I didn't even notice. Uh that that blows. I think I'm actually gonna lose here. Oh wait, wait. uh cut the wall. Oh no I'm still gonna lose. That's irritating. That was a pretty good one, though. I really enjoyed how uh, how the the ants and stuff worked. All right, let's do one more. Air pelts. Magpie is really good. Orbs magnets too. No sigil right away. Gek. Yeah, definitely need a gek. Let's get a let's see what we can do with totems. Reptile. Reptile is always good. Um, that. I mean, I don't have to put the squirrel down right now, but I'm going to. And let's hit with the wolf. Okay. There we go. Want any pelts? Cause I don't think I have any money. Kingfisher could be good. We can level that up and make it really annoying to deal with. Sure, reptile spawn ants. Why not? If I find an insect head, then all insects spawn ants. I have a regular ant farm on their hands. So this will bring the corpse maggot out. Yeah. Okay, double squirrel. There. We still, yeah, have a couple to work with. Oop. I will take that. We need Gek, yeah. We do need Gek. One day we'll find Gek. Ooh, double kingfisher. 
Maybe we should get a totem with birds. Hmm. Uh. Let's make the wolf harder to kill. This just puts it from like a good card to a great card. And we can do the sigil up there and get rid of the magpie, which would be really great. Wolf, yeah. Yep. I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but I feel like I'm seeing way more insects this time around. Do that. Take that. One, two, three. Get there. And they only do two. Another squirrel. Magpie. Uh. I mean, I guess here. Corpse maggot. All right. Duh. All right, and with one to spare. Expensive. Maybe we can make it work. Uh, give me a stoat with a magpie. Just a better magpie all around. Spawn ants. What is this? The angler? Yeah. All right, fish time. Turkey vulture. Uh, Up in the art style of this game. Yeah, it's a very cool looking game. Six. Uh, this will actually be good, I think. I should have taken a squirrel, maybe, but... Uh, sack that for one here. There we go. Oh. Good one. Good good boss fight. Let's see. Uraioli. Strange larva or the depths. Deus deuce. I mean this just summons bells, right? I mean, I guess you get two free 
two free sacrifices? Uh, it's a big maybe, but I think I'm taking them off, man. Plus, it's a bug, I think. I want to see what other totems we can get. Maybe we can make all our bugs flying or something. Uh, Kim? Failure, oh. that's fine. We keep a, a lean deck. Hey, who called it? that for Kingfisher. Might be nice to combine the kingfishers. I should have gone to the the other one. Field mice. That's interesting. We can use that sigil. Alright, 2 2 Kingfisher. I gotta get rid of this bullfrog. to kill that raven. Ooh, strange larva. Okay, strange larva. Take the raven. Um, and now we do absolutely killer damage. Look at those teeth. Just look at that snout. Hmm. I think here and then I can get a get a boon from the Bone Lord. Yeah, trial of kin. What do we get? The Rat King. Flying grizzly. Oh no, wait, that's not flying. That it blocks flying. It makes rabbits. All these kind of suck. <laughs> I might just sacrifice the grizzly. Hmm. 
does not fit in my deck. I will take the boon from the Bone Lord. If you were one of these cards, what would you be? I mean, like, the, the easy answer that I could say is Wolf. I think I would be, like... I think I would be the... The Coyote, which is uh, two attack, one health. Of course, Maggot's F. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna let this one ride. Don't die. Okay. Squirrel. King Fisher, you hit right over the head. Uh, nope. Die. That's fine. Corpse maggots for sure. Okay. I don't know. I think I can can see that in a way, like coming out of uh, kind of a rebirth kind of thing, which is obviously what you meant. Take a wolf. Bloodhound. Huh. It's not nothing. Hmm. No, sir, please. Please don't take my bloodhound. Oh no. Hey, I get the bones. Okay. Duplication with per possible imperfections. Imperfections show motion, no feeling. Usually set it apart from things. Hmm. Maybe another corpse maggot? Or like another... Another strange larva? There's a chance that it won't spawn with that sit or won't be painted with that sigil, but... Uh, I guess if anything, it's good mycologist fodder. Ooh, five. That's pretty good. I think I'd be the strange larva be. It's useless for a while, but then it turns into Mothman. Is this the first or the second boss in this run? I literally do not know. That's a misplay. It will it'll be fine. I'm doing so bad in Fortnite and it's making me mad. I don't know. I haven't gotten higher than top 30. Ooh. Yeah, you knew, do normally top 10 consistently. Another strange larva. Eats the Mothman. I think I die. Yeah, I, I'm fucked, actually. That sucks. Maybe higher elo, yeah. So we all know you're West Virginia's Mothman, yeah. Uh, the song, the song Country Roads is about me. West Virginia, Oak is Mothman. Take me on country roads. Okay, that's going to be it for me for tonight. Uh, 
thanks for joining me. I, we got a, several new people here tonight. Thanks for being here. Uh, a lot of fun. I'll, I'll play more of this soon, probably. It's, it's It's gotten in my brain just a little bit, and it's not gotten me mad enough uh, for me to, like, just abandon it entirely. All right. Catch you later, guys.